Hi everybody, I am Delta Prime and you're watching Delta Prime Reviews. So before we get straight into the review, I want to uh, apologize for not having uploaded a video in like the past three to four weeks. I been busy, as you all know, when I did my last video review, I mentioned I was going to, on to vacation. When I got back from vacation, I got really busy with schoolwork. And finals just got done earlier this week. So, that was like a hectic last of three to four weeks. So, I apologize. Um, now, I'm free. I can now go back to uploading the reviews once a week and yeah so I'm back don't worry I didn't die or anything so right with that said we will get straight into the video review so in the last video review we reviewed Power of the Primes Dreadwind well today we'll be viewing her partner Power of the Primes Blackwing or Darkwing. Can't remember which is the G1 and which is not G1 name. Point is, they couldn't do the G1 name, which I think is Blackwing. Hold on, I have his card. Let me search that real quick. Um, let's see here. Well, the G1 name is uh, Darkwing, and this is Blackwing. So, I believe Darkwing is also, if I remember correctly, it's like a superhero slash or supervillain name. So, copyright issues. Hasbro lost all rights to it, so they no longer have uh, access to that name. So, he's Blackwing instead of Darkwing. So, um, I never, like I said in the last video review, I never owned the original Dark, uh, Darkwing and Dreadwind. So, I don't know what the, how they are as far as color scheme goes, but this is amazing. You got this sort of aviator helmet right here. That looks absolutely phenomenal. Like, it, it just looks so amazing. Um, you got the color scheme of baby blue, like a teal color, the silver and gray, the purple. The purple visor is amazing. The yellow on the wings. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous figure. I think Hasbro absolutely outdid themselves with this figure. Um, for accessories, he comes with what every deluxe class in this toy line comes with. Prime armor. And just like any other prime armor, this comes out to form a little gun. And a Prime Master can uh, fit in there. For uh, this fella, since he comes with the, since he's technically Vector Blackwing, we'll take Vector Prime here, who fits oh so snugly in the Prime Armor. Now, um, these, it, any Prime Master can go into these, but I am under the exception that um, they are especially fitted for the ones that, they're, that their card says they are associated with. So, like, I can take, let's take my Cronus here. Plug him in. And actually, it fits a lot better than the uh, Vector does. 
And actually, we take Liege Massimo, who I don't have out at the moment. I'm pretty sure he is a um a even tight no a looser fit. I think the reason and that seems to be a thing with all the Decepticon um Prime Masters in this toy line is that for some reason the Autobots fit snugly in almost every Prime armor. Whether it be a foot prime armor or a hand prime armor. While the Decepticons are very loosey-goosey when you put them in the prime armor. So, other accessories. Comes with these guns. I don't know if they're G1 accurate. But they're also pictured here in this card. And oh my god, do the guns look amazing in the card. Granted... The guns he has on them, him look nothing like what's in the card. On the card. Like. Nothing like it. But still. Pretty neat he comes with two. Gives the whole secret vibe. Um, so yeah. Let's just peg these back on. Because I like keeping these pegged on. Because it makes things a lot simpler. When you don't parts form. Yeah, let's get into articulation. So he has the same issue as, um, well, not really. He has a little bit of, um, wiggle hip syndrome or loose hip syndrome, but it's not too bad. And the one, the, the loose hip syndrome on Dreadwind is much worse. No, what the biggest problem I have with this guy is, guy is the knees. They're so loosey-goosey. Like, you have to bend him for a little bit to get him to stand. Or just, like, have his legs awkwardly positioned like this for him to stand. Let's straighten those out. See? See? See how easily the knees moved? So, anyway... Getting to the articulation, arm is on a ball joint and a hinge for the, for the transformation. Swivel it above the elbow, no fist articulation. Head is on a ball joint, can look up that much, can look down this much, okay? Again, swivel up arms in case a guy off camera. No fist articulation, 90 degree, 90 degree bend at the elbow. I can move a full 360 degrees. Um, there's a ball joint in the shoulder hinge right below there where the ball joint connects again in case I got that off camera. There's extra neck, neck articulation, but that's mostly for transformation his alternate modes. You got 360 degrees waist art articulation. The wings are in a ball joint to make the transformations to each mode easier. And wings can move up and down. Ball joint at the hips for the where the thighs connect. Um, swivel just below that. Almost 90 degree bend at the knee. No ankle articulation. Alright, so if you remember last time, I put uh I put Dreadwind in a sort of fan mode. Well my girlfriend found a fan mode for this guy. That I am as far as I'm concerned, she's the only one to have come up with this fan mode. As far as I know of. I've done the research, I haven't seen anything like like it, but Let's start out with that, shall we? Now, forgive me, I'm a little rusty. It has been three or four weeks since I played this guy. But basically, you're going to want to unfold this, turn the head, and just smack in there. And become part of a bird head. Yeah. So, unfold that. You're to want to take this. 
bring that out and then you're going to just do this and that'll become the bird tail now what you want to do is this is a little tricky you want to take the hip and you're going to make it so that darn it So that, oh, it's positioned like that. And that's very tricky to do. Keep that in mind. So, and then you're going to turn it so that that air hole is pointing that way. And then you can bring those out like that and it'll sort of act like feet. And then bring the wings, sorry, hold on. So yeah, bring those out so they or, so or act like feet. Then fold this down like that. And then pull these back as the wings. And there you have a very ugly swan mode. Is it terrible? I will admit it is stupid as heck. Does it kind of work though? <laughs> kind of. Kind of. So. Yeah. Now we got that stupid fan mode out of the way. Um. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Now we got that fan mode out of the way. Let's put him in his arm mode. Don't put him in leg mode. And from leg mode we'll put him into jet mode. So to start out. I'm sorry. This is hilarious to look <laughs> So to start off, you want to undo all that you just did. So we'll start with the legs. Turn those back to their original position. Like so. And we'll just squeeze them together. Come here. And we're actually going to want to rotate the wings on the ball joints so that this side will be facing the front. And it's very important you do that. And then you're going to fold the cockpit back, cockpit back like that and just tuck the head down like that. What we want to do first is open that up. And then rotate that out. And then fold this and peg it back into place. Okay. Now you're going to take the arms. And you're going to just rotate them. You're going to hinge them up so that they look like this. Same here. Move the arms so they're like this. And that peg hole right, that groove right there will slide into this. And... Same over here. Take the prime armor, put it in its hand mode. Peg that in. And there we have Blackwing in his arm mode. Now, I say, I always say that um, Jets do a lot better in arm mode than they do in leg mode. And for the most part, that is absolutely true. For this guy, however, yes, it looks really cool. It looks like a freaking battle axe. Um, I'm actually going to say that his arm mode is his weakest point. Like, legit. The head's right there. It could totally go peekaboo. And that is... That in itself is scary enough. An uh, arm just going, peekaboo, I see you. Like, really? I wish they could have hit it better. But they wanted to homage... I get why Hasbro did, couldn't engineer that in. Because they want to homage the original uh, black... Their, the original Darkwing... 
and uh, and Dreadwind figure by making them combine like the original figures. So I get why they couldn't engineer that. But still, it would have been pretty cool if they could find a way to hide that. So now I'm going to put him in in uh, leg mode, which is by far the best of his limb modes, in my opinion. And it's actually pretty calm freaking plex. So we're going to unpeg this, turn it back to prime armor mode, and stand it off to the side. We're going to act like we're putting him in robot mode. With a few different added steps, of course. So you want to unfold that. And then you're going to completely rotate this up. Now, before you do anything else, you want to fix these, rotate them back around and fix them. Or, no, actually, you want to keep them where they were. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up. And you see these pegs right here? They'll peg into those peg holes right there, so. And now, I'm going to fold these up like that. And I might just screwed up. Yeah, alright. I done that run over, I'm peg these up. You don't want to is you don't want to flip these in and core them like you're putting them in jet mode, like so. So it has to be flat like that, and then you can uh, do that. Peg those in, and then you can do this. Because if not, it's going to get in the way. So do that, and then, and this is really cool, you want to take these pe slots here again, and these side pegs right here will actually peg into them. So you're going to turn these, and you're going to just peg those in like that. And this is why I think it's a much better leg mode than... Um, then Dreadwinds. Sure, sure the uh, arms are still right there, but they're compacted in. They're not off to the side. They're compacted in, which is really cool that they that they uh, figure out how to engineer it like that. Really neat, in my opinion. So the file mode we'll show off is jet mode, and we practically already got there. So all we need to do is. Fold this down real quick, so we can fold this up, and fold it up a few extra clicks so that, and un actually unpeg this before you do that, and then, then you can fold that back in like that, and then fix it, ta-da, come to the arms, just like on Dreadwing, you want to peg those in. I am so sorry. My phone fell again. I am working on getting a camera. So you want to peg those in. And then rotate the gun around. Same over here. And then you will fix this, coring it back, and then peg this in. Peg, yeah, peg that in there. Fold these back. Fold these down. 
And then you have the Blackwing in his jet mode, which is, in my opinion, a much better jet mode than the Dreadwings. And just to show you, here is Dreadwings jet mode right here, and it's okay looking, not the best. Then you got this one's like, oh my god, that is a more concise and better looking jet. So yeah, that was the video review for uh, Blackwing. In the next video review, I'll be combining these two into their combined form, Dreadwing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video review, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!